All right, we've talked about where the brushes and erasers are, but I haven't yet mentioned how to put color on the brush. So you can pick in the bottom of the tool palette the little white square or whatever colors you might be, and this is the foreground color. So if I made it red and then hit OK, now there's just red paint on my brush. So I'll make a new layer and just put some of that down. When I just started out, I thought this is what you had to do every time. So let's say what I want to do is match this sort of dark purple color. I would open it up and I'd you know, try and get it just right. And then I'd paint some down. And of course, it's not going to be quite right. Well, there's an easier way. If there's already color on your image somewhere and you have the brush tool active, just hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and click it. What it does is it turns you into a little eyedropper and now you have that color perfectly matched. This is essential. This, I'd say, is the second most used brush tool keyboard shortcut. So Alt-click, we have a color. Alt-click, we have a color. This is handy for a lot of reasons. One is that you don't have to open up this color picker so much. Another is that once you start getting colors around your canvas, there's a certain thing called unity which happens when you have a lot of similar colors all the way around your image. So by using the Alt key to sample colors that are already on your canvas, it's both quicker and makes your painting look better. So that's the first one to memorize. The next keyboard shortcut is the Color Picker window. I was pulling it up by clicking on the foreground color right here. But since that's probably on the side of your screen, that might be kind of annoying. What you can actually do is you can assign a keyboard shortcut to the foreground color picker. Weirdly, there is no default for this. So the way you do it is you go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and then in the Tools drop down here, a little ways down the list, you'll find the foreground color picker, and I've assigned mine to K. So I'll paint with a color, and if there's not another one already on my canvas, I'll pull up the color picker, change my color a little bit, say OK, and now I'm painting with that new color. Being able to pull up this color picker at will is really nice. Now you'll notice I called it the foreground color. What does that mean? Foreground in Photoshop terminology is just the color on your brush. Background is this other color. They actually have very little relation to each other. They're just two slots for colors. So what I can do is switch foreground and background with the X key. So I'm going to make them two very different colors. We have like a light pink and almost a black. So I can paint with a foreground color, that light purple, and then hit X on the keyboard, and now it activates the background color. It just switches the two. They never interact with each other at the same time. They're just two slots for colors. So X to switch between your two most recent colors is another very useful keyboard shortcut. Now that might not seem like a lot of information, but I encourage you to stop right here and just try out these keyboard shortcuts. And once you feel comfortable with them and you know how to change the color confidently on your brush, we will do a little bit of color mixing in the next video. So I'll see you there.